Hey everybody, my name's Tyler Watson, your Las Vegas and Henderson Realtor. This is Tour Time with Tyler, and let's check out this new listing. But again, before we do, right here is the link to my resale app. Up above is the link to my new construction website. You can go to either one of those links, or you could scan the QR phone with your phone, and it will take you directly to them. Completely free to use. Let's check out this one. So, <clears throat> really nice single story. I'm gonna spin around just so you can see everything. I'll throw a map of where we are today. I love this area. We are in Henderson. More specifically, we are in a 55 and older active adult community known as Sun City Anthem. Now, a little secret on that. You don't have to be 55 and older to move in here. You just can't have kids. Kids can visit, grandkids can visit. They can stay for a couple weeks. I believe it's up to 30 days, but they can't be residents here. And if you wanna move in at 49 or something like that, you just need to get HOA approval. But Sun City Anthem is an active adult community. It does have a uh, country club, really neat. The one we are looking at today is 2,200 square feet. It's a total of three bedroom, three bath. Now I know it says three car garage, but that one is not really suitable for a garage. That's a golf cart garage. And you can cruise around on a golf cart up here since it is a, a community with a country club. I see them all the time, but just know that one's a little shorter, it's a little smaller. Uh, maybe an old school Mini Cooper, but really a two car garage plus storage. Really neat one. Now this one is currently on the market for $839,000. One of the cool things is this right here is a casita. It's a detached structure. So maybe you have a parent or maybe you have an older kid or maybe you just want a guest house, an office, man cave, she shed, has a full bath. We'll take a look at it. Really, really cool. But again, if you could do me a huge favor and hit the like button, also make sure to subscribe. I am trying to do new tours every single day. Now again, this is a resale, so if you're considering buying new, you want to buy new, give me a call before you talk to the sales associates. Go and see the models or email them because the associates at those places, they don't work for you. They're gonna assist with the transaction, but they don't actually represent you. They represent the builder. So if you want representation, give me a call. Again, fun fact. As the buyer with new construction, you do not pay the realtor fees, the commission, the builder does. So give me a call, all my info down in the description and the link comment. First, Casita. Now, I know in other parts of the country and whatnot, they may call this a pool house, they may call it something else, but we have a little tiny storage coat closet right here. You have almost everything you need to live right here. If you want like a one bedroom or like a studio apartment, you have a little fridge, you have a sink, you have some uppers, you have some lowers. I feel like my parents would absolutely love this. My brother lives with them. So pretty nice. He could have his own apartment. So right here we have our bathroom. It's a big vanity. You have your lowers again. These are just going to be the standard just no soft clothes. If you want soft clothes, you can always go to Lowe's or Home Depot, get the hinges. We have a shower only, but pretty nice. Good, decent sized room. If you wanna do an office, if you wanna do man cave, she shed, anything like that, you wanna turn it into a guest house. Now I know sometimes they have rental restrictions, so I don't know if you could rent this out to someone else, but pretty neat. Let's go ahead and head on in to the main living. So coming on in, the views are really, really nice in here. So again, probably how most people would set this up is you have formal living, family room, dining room. So it's very open. There are even skylights in here. You don't really see that anymore, but let's go ahead Take a look at the two bedrooms, the bathroom. We'll go ahead and take a look outside too because there's some pretty nice things about this property. If we come on down right here, we have our laundry area. So again, when you buy new, this is gonna be an optional upgrade. This is gonna be an optional upgrade. One of the things people like about resales, they've already put them in. So you have laundry, you have uppers, you have a sink with basin looking out front. 
We are on a cul-de-sac as well, which is kind of unusual up here. More uppers. We'll get to the bathroom in just a second. But we have our first bedroom. The only thing I would have changed, I mean, besides the bulb, it's a little dim in here. And again, I know people are gonna add lamps and whatnot. Can lighting for sure. I mean, this is a big, big room. It's really large. I mean, I've seen master primary bedrooms smaller than this room. Really nice size room. Shutters everywhere. Right here we have small little linen closet opposite of the laundry. And then we have our first full bath. I guess technically second full bath. We have our vanity, same lowers, toilet, and then a shower only. Now everything in this community is going to be single story. It's an active adult. So 55 and older, they do not build two stories up here. I guess you could turn this into a bedroom if you really, really needed to. If you have a lot of grandkids or whatnot, but nice office space. You can make it a playroom. All the built-ins. This is nice, wow. I mean, you have a little desk over here. You could put two desks here. Really nicely done. Before we get into the actual primary bedroom right here, you have your coat closet. Again, the front door is right there. Coming into the primary, that first bedroom feels almost bigger than this one. It's kind of crazy how big that first bedroom is. You have bay windows over there. It's nice. We'll go out back here in a second, but just you see all of the mountains. You have a covered patio, you have an outdoor grill. The backyard is massive. Coming on into the bathroom. So right here, we have a very nice walk-in closet. Double bar, single bar, double bar, single bar. Nice size walk-in closet. Before we check out the shower, we have, oh, I forgot a light. I just ran in here. We're walking through together. I just ran in here to turn the lights. You have your toilet, your double vanity, you have your tub, and then you have your shower. And I do like that it has the little shelf right there. If you wanna put soap, shampoos, if you wanna take a seat, you can definitely do that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the rest of the house. Again, if you have any questions regarding this one or any other home, whether it's new or resale, give me a call. This room is so big. And I do like that it has the additional four can lights in here. You have your covered patio and they even extended it out. Maybe, I don't know, 10 or 12 feet. We'll take a look here in a second. Again, there's your front door, your dining area. But coming on in to the kitchen, and what I would consider more of the informal living or family room. And we'll take a look at that garage because I can't sneak into it. I know with new construction, you can't. You have your whole kitchen. We'll come back and take a look at everything. There's so many built-ins. But coming on outside, really nice outdoor area. I am a big fan of it. So you have maybe let's call it seven foot to that line. And then maybe an additional 12 of overhang. So big covered area. You can see all the way out to like Mount Charleston with all the snow. Pretty nice. Now you do have the fence. We'll take a quick walk and I'm gonna talk about a backyard. Now, when you buy new construction, all of this is going to be dirt. It's up to you to finish it however you so choose. You might get the concrete over here, but again, a backyard can get rather expensive rather quickly. You add a pool, spa, heater, figure at least 70 grand before you start doing landscaping. So one thing to think about, if you are only considering uh, to buy new, you have to finish the backyard. And this backyard just keeps going and going and going you could see like you could put a pool over here if you wanted to it's that large i love the views one of the nice things about this property too is like you feel like you're on top of the world it's probably a 12 15 foot drop to that property a th maybe 20 30 foot drop to that property really cool coming on in let's take a look at that 
kitchen. Again, if you have any questions, you wanna figure out what you can qualify for, talk to me. I can put you in touch with the lender, help you figure out exactly what price range you could fit into. I know people always ask, where do I start? Call me first. We can get you on a plan. You can start seeing homes. You can start seeing lenders, figure out exactly what you need. Little island, and I guess you could put maybe two chairs there. We have our stainless steel dishwasher. We have our sink, double basin. If you don't know what this is, this is your reverse osmosis. It's for filtered water. There's your view. Some uppers, we have our five burner cooktop. We have our stainless steel microwave, and I always like to check, it does vent outside. Cool. Double oven. We do have some more storage under the island. You have your refrigerator, a little coffee nook maybe. But let's go in the garage real quick just to show you. I know people always wanna see in the garage. Pretty nice garage. I don't know if it's epoxy or resin or urethane, but you do have access right outside. So I know some people do like to keep the trash cans in the garage, just roll them right out. But again, two car garage and then golf cart storage kind of thing. There's so much storage. And I know these things get expensive. I bought two from Costco and it was like 500 bucks, maybe back in 2018, 19. Now they're like 700 bucks for two. But again, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to me. Love to help you and love to hear from you. I think I would put an elevated platform to see the strip because there are some strip views over there. Really need, again, you just need to talk to the HOA. Usually it's allowed, but you need to see the CC and R's. Again, this is an active adult, 55 and older community up here in Sun City Anthem in Henderson. There is a country club. You do have HOA fees. Keep those things in mind. So again, any questions, all my info down in the description as well as the pinned comment. Let me know what you think about this one down in the comments below. Pretty neat property. And as always, Thanks for tagging along with Tour Time with Tyler. Stay safe out there, everyone.